We all take what we can see with our eyes as real. The truth is, we can only see a very narrow slice of the rainbow called the electromagnetic spectrum. Even as you watch this video, there's a vast range of light that's passing around us and through us that's totally invisible to the human eye. Fortunately, with the proper sensors and technology, we can extend our vision deep into the parts of the electromagnetic spectrum that are invisible to our eyes. The world looks very different in infrared or ultraviolet light, but that world is just as real as the one we can see. While we can use these unseen frequencies to send information like digital TV and FM radio, we can also use them to make astronomical images. We're all familiar with optical telescopes, which for the most part show the frequencies or colors of light that our eyes can detect. You might be surprised to know that this is also a telescope. It simply sees radio light rather than optical. The only difference is wavelength. A wave of yellow light measures just 580 nanometers in length. A nanometer is a billionth of a meter, so the wavelengths of light that we can see with our eyes are extremely short. This is why even a small telescope can show fine detail on the moon and far off planets. Compared to visual light, radio wavelengths are huge, ranging in size from one millimeter to several hundred meters in length. That's why radio telescopes are so large. In fact, most single dish radio telescopes have a very fuzzy view of the sky, much less detailed than what can be seen with the human eye. Fortunately, there's a way to make radio images of the sky at high resolution. The trick is to use several telescopes that are located far apart. If you separate them by a thousand kilometers, the combined telescope will have a resolving power of a single dish of that diameter. The trick is in using the rotation of the Earth and combining the signals with very high precision to create an actual image. In fact, by using this technique, radio telescopes have far surpassed optical telescopes in resolution. This is called radio interferometry and it has given us some of the most detailed images of our universe ever. When we look at a planet like Jupiter, depending on the wavelength, we can see deep into its atmosphere or observe the high energy processes happening in its magnetosphere. By comparing radio images with optical images, we can get a much clearer understanding of the physics involved. By taking advantage of the high resolution that interferometry provides, we can actually see far off solar systems in the process of formation, greatly enhancing our understanding of this complex event. Looking at other galaxies, we can map the high energy areas that are forming vast numbers of new stars and planets. Using radio, we can even view in detail a powerful black hole that powers the dynamics of a galaxy 55 million light years away. As you can see, by using radio eyes, we have vastly expanded our knowledge and understanding of the universe, pulling back the curtain on a vast reality that was once invisible to us.